Hey y'all, so it's been a while since I've done a flexible dieting video for y'all. So today I'm going to be showing you what I would eat on a typical day and how I keep track of my macros using my fitness pal. So for breakfast I'm having my overnight oats. They are perfect for on the go. I'll be doing a separate video on how I make them. There's a lot of different ways. Um, I've had a lot of requests on that. So be on the lookout for that recipe video. Um, and then I'm also going to have some coffee here. I do not like hot coffee, so I brew it at night, stick it in the fridge, and then in the morning fill up my thermos with it. Love this new thermos I have here. My husband bought it for me. Um, and then I also add half a cup of fat-free milk and about a tablespoon of some type of creamer. Right now I have this churro caramel, which is okay. A little too cinnamon, too cinnamony for my liking, but it's not bad. So uh, on, on to lunch. So in this pan, I am browning some 93.7 lean ground beef. Um, I'm going to add some of this Mustache Fiesta Lime seasoning, as well as the Southwest Chipotle. These are my two favorite flavors out of all the Mustache. Um, and then when that is nice and brown, I'm going to also add a can of black beans. I usually look for a reduced sodium or no salt added, but the grocery store was out. Um, these stewed tomatoes with jalapenos, garlic, and cumin, and some corn. Just a quick, easy lunch um, that you can also have for a few days because it makes, for me, three ser uh, four servings. I've drained the black beans and the corn. I left all the juice in the stewed tomatoes, added all that to the pot here, and um, let that simmer for just a few minutes. So they're all done. I got them all portioned out into four different servings. The ground beef I got came in a 16 ounce package. So each of these have about four ounces per, per container, which is one serving of ground beef. Um, and about one serving of each of the um, vegetables and the beans. And um, what I did was put a plastic container on my scale here, zeroed it out, and then added the mixture so that each one has about 10 and a half ounces. You want to try to get them as close as possible. Sure, one might have more beans than the other, but I'm not in contest prep, so I'm not super strict about that. Um, and then I came into my fitness pal and added everything into that. The corn, the tomatoes, and the black beans, as well as the beef. And it came out to about 400 calories. Sometimes I also like to add rice to these. My husband puts like a, a whole cup of rice um, for the extra carbs. I'd like to save my carbs for something else today, so I'm gonna eat it just like this. On to meal number three, I am having three egg whites and two ounces of this Oscar Mayer honey ham with a little bit of pepper and one sugar cookie pop tart. I went ahead and plugged in everything onto my fitness pal after dinner and seeing that I still had a little bit of room left, some extra carbs and some fat left over, and I've hit my micronutrients and fiber for the day, so having a Pop-Tart is not gonna kill me, just an extra little sweet treat. Meal number four is pita pizza. It's a whole wheat um, pita pocket topped with chicken and homemade pico de gallo as well as some organic pizza sauce and part skim mozzarella cheese. And meal number five is my nightly banana peanut butter protein shake. The link for this recipe video will be down below. I have one of these almost every single night. They're awesome. Awesome way to cap off my macros for the day. So my final macros for today were 52 grams of fat, 221 carbs, 163 grams of protein and 27 grams of fiber. Uh, I was a little bit high on my sugar, but that's all right. Uh, again, all my micronutrients and my fiber were met. Um, that's normally a typical day for me. I've been trying to slowly re reverse diet since my competition. Um, obviously, I took a break from that a little bit. I just wanted a few weeks to to go without tracking any macros at all, which was nice, but I'm back on it now and I'll slowly be upping all of my macros. 
Um, let me know if y'all like these videos, you know, a day of flexible dieting, what I typically eat in a day, um, just to give y'all an idea for some of you that are new to IFYM or flexible dieting or kind of want to know how I do it. Um, I'll be posting some more. So until next time, remember if I can, so can you.